Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Thursday before the Feast of the Epiphany. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from John chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. As John stood there with two of his disciples, Jesus passed, and John stared hard at him and said, Look, there is the Lamb of God. Hearing this, the two disciples followed Jesus. Jesus turned round, saw them following, and said, What do you want? They answered, Rabbi, which means teacher, where do you live? Come and see, he replied. So they went and saw where he lived and stayed with him the rest of that day. It was about the tenth hour. One of these who became followers of Jesus after hearing what John had said was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. Early next morning, Andrew met his brother and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means the Christ. And he took Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked hard at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas meaning rock. The Gospel of the Lord. The story of the call of the disciples, the very first disciples, takes place in the Jordan Valley where John was baptising. The first two to be called are disciples of John the Baptist. So they had originally joined his group of those waiting for the Messiah. They were ready when John pointed Jesus out. And it is striking that Jesus first calls them to be with him. And first of all, they remain with him for a time. First, in our call to follow Christ comes prayer and getting to know Christ before we can actively work for Christ and bring others to share his joy. Only after this time with Jesus do they sprint off in their enthusiasm and bring others like Simon Peter to join in the benefits they have received from the tranquility of keeping company with Jesus. For our reflection today, we might just ask ourselves a simple question. Like Andrew and the other disciple in the gospel, do I spend time getting to know Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue this week up to the Epiphany. Till then, take care. God bless.